Hello, this is uh, Carl James Langford. I've got a uh, council tax um, arrears that I'm paying off at this minute with a company known as uh, Swift Credit Control, which is based in the valleys. Um, the amount is actually quite small, um, but the tactics that they use every time I phone up to pay the arrears um, is quite a, a blismal and uh, I, it's quite frightening the tactics that they use so I'm actually going I'm going to um, record the conversation uh, for um, everybody to listen to and I want to see if people actually approve of Swift Credit Control's tactics and can you imagine if you were in a very vulnerable position and the wordings that they use are actually really frightening so I want to see if you all agree The system to pay, as you can all work out, isn't just exactly easy. Um, at this point, the sense of intimidation is rising. And I think this is one of Swift's tactics. I've never been able to phone up Swift and make a payment straight away. Um, I can't make this payment straight away. Um, just say, here's my credit card details. Um, it takes so long to do uh, such a simple transaction and they're extremely bullying. We're on hold for a moment, so I'm going to cut the recorder off. It's 10.07 at this minute, so let's see how long I'm on hold. Oh, hiya. Um, I would. Uh, I haven't got my um, account number at this uh, moment, and I obviously, um, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's concerning um, a property, um, CF... Yes, yeah, concerning a property in Barry, which uh, uh, Charlie Foxtrot sixty three one NL for council tax. Okay, that was Charlie Foxtrot fifty three. Sixty three. Okay, and what was the address? Five three. Yeah, sixty three one and NL. Address? Say that again. One NL. Yes. So I've got Charlie Foxtrot five three. No, sixty three. 63. That's correct. And the name on the account? Yes, it's, uh, it's Carl James Langford. Okay, is that the name on the account? Yes, it is, yes. Right. Okay. Um, can you can you trace? Because I've phoned up a number of times. Um, can I give you um, an account number, please? Yeah. Sure. Okay. It's eight zero two. Zero one. Four three five. No four. Yeah. Four three five one. Four three five one. Yes. Yes. One zero four. No, zero one four. Yeah. Eight zero two zero one four three five one. Correct. Okay, does nothing come up that reference of a class, or this is uh regarding this is council tax? This is council tax, yeah. Okay, and is that with Marsden, Swift or Rosendale? Uh Swift. 
Right, okay. It's uh Right, okay. Um Charlie Foxtrot sixty three one and L. I, I I get the same problem every week and it's just uh, it's ridiculous. I'm just trying to make a payment. Okay, it's Carl James Langford. Okay. Uh, as you can tell, um, it's not easy to get through to Swift. Um, you, you heard me pressing the options, and um, at the end of the day, and, and the wait, by the way, was uh, roughly about two and a half minutes. It's now ten. 12 and uh, we're on hold again uh, very intimidating as you can tell I just want to make a payment and you feel feel I feel very inflated at this minute let's just put this on hold oh we're back ah right it, it did actually specifically say for council tax press option 2 Right, okay, I would disagree. By the way, this call has been recorded and uh, it will be um, on YouTube. Um, and uh, your voice will be heard. Anyway, got to end this call. Right, I've had to uh, ring, up, ring up again, um, as you know. Here we go. So let's press three. Let's just get on with it. Three. Well, let's ring it through. Let's put this on hold again whilst we wait. Calls begin. Okay, yeah, it's uh it's uh Account zero, start again, is account 802014351. Can you confirm the phone name on the account there, please? It's Carl James Langford. That's brilliant. Any phone address and postcode then, please? Right, so the address that this is to do with is Council Taxi Barry. It's 492 Gladstone Road, Barry. Charlie Foxtrot 631NL. Um, uh, no, the, the, the address that you live at then? Uh, the, 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 the address that I live at. Uh, I haven't actually given that address, which I've got to give this week. I need the address the letter was sent to. Right, the original address that the uh, letter was sent to. Um, or your very intimidating bailiff, the the address is as Thank you. the uh, the respondent is not found by address again. Um, you know, feel a bit bereft. Um, had to turn the recording off then because I don't want the world knowing where I live. Uh, but um, it's. It's not a process that I'm enjoying at this minute. It's not friendly. Um, this is, well, recording time so far is, is well over um, eight minutes, but we've probably been on the line for a lot longer than that. Um, so more more of this. So let, let's, uh, it's 10.16, so let, let's just uh, put this on uh, pause again. Hello again. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. So, are you currently in a payment arrangement at all? Uh, yes, I am. I pay... How much do you pay, then? £35 pounds a week. That's brilliant. Um, yeah, that's fine. You said earlier it's for council tax, so um, that's no problem. Um, I just have to ask an extra security question, because um, you had one letter in, in the postcode wrong. Right, okay. Um, from from where the um, the letter was delivered. Yeah, it's, it's um, the one with one system. Correct. Yes. Yeah, that, that's fine. That's no problem. Um, so can I just confirm with you then? Um, Carl, do you have a contact landline number at all? 
Uh, no, I don't. No, that's no problem. But you just confirm your contact mobile number then, please? It's the one I'm phoning off. Uh, no, I don't. No, that's fine. Right, uh, do, 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 you want, do you want my, uh, do you want actually my new address? Yeah, I can take that down. You have a uh, forwarding address now. Yeah, yes, I do, yes. Yeah, that's fine. And what, what is that address? Just to double check, then it's number two. Yeah, that's brilliant. Um, so I can see then you just have the one account for Vale of the Morgan Council. Yes. For last year's financial year. That's correct. Um, and I can see the current balance is £35 per week. Yes. Am you calling to make that payment today then? Yes, I am, yes. Yep, I'll get that set up for you. And did you want to pay anything more than the £35 to bring the arrears down sooner? No, I don't. I just want to pay the £35. Yep, the site for the card you're using today then, is it registered in your name and your address? Yeah, yes, yes it is, yes. Is this going to take much longer? Uh, can you just confirm to the recording then how much you are paying today? £35. Pounds. That's brilliant. I'm just going to silence the recording now then so we don't store your card details, okay? Okay. If you could read the long card number when you're ready then, please. Yeah, I'll read it out now. Just to confirm now then, the recording's back on. And I'll be taking a payment of £35 pounds from your card today, is this correct? And are you happy for me to process this payment? I'm happy for you to process the payment. Okay. And this payment has gone through. Did you want the receipt number at all? No, thank you. It will appear on your bank statement if you did need it. Okay, thank you. Um, so you can see your next pay now is due on the 8th of November. Is there anything else at all I can help you with? No, that's great. Thank you very much. That's no problem. Thank you for your call. Enjoy the rest of your day, Dan. Thank you. Okay, and I've got to say at the end of this call, this has been recorded and it's... Um, going on YouTube after this. Thank you very much. There you go. Uh, uh, it, uh, it wasn't as intimidating as usual. Uh, I think the person was probably aware this was being recorded, but you can imagine that it's now uh, 10.23. It's taken a considerable time to make this payment. Um, Anyway, this is my recorder about Swift, and I will do another one next week to compare. Thank you very much. This is Carl James Langford on the 1st of November.